It's that time of the year again and we have a new Ubuntu out with massive updates throughout. Ubuntu 22.10 Kinetic Kudu is now out with revamped visual elements and updated sort of applications with newer features, additional settings and a host of other new things. Ubuntu interim releases are always interesting as they bring many new things to the table. Ubuntu developers play around with new features and variations with these interim releases and this release too is packed with updates. Let's jump right in with the highlight of the show that is GNOME 43. Yep, with Ubuntu 22.10, we get the all new GNOME 43 with its redesigned system status menu. While the desktop itself looks and feels familiar, you're in for a surprise change as soon as you check out the system status menu. We get these trendy new quick toggles here. Instead of clicking on Wi-Fi and then clicking on turn off like Kevin, we can now turn Wi-Fi on and off with a single click. The same goes for Bluetooth, Nightlight, Dark Mode and Performance Profiles. These quick toggles offer a pleasant experience. The drop down panel looks nicer and has a modern touch. And additional options for any of these settings can be accessed by clicking on these little arrows. The new status menu also brings a new audio switcher. While we could already adjust the volume from this panel, we can now easily switch the audio device from here too. This will be very useful for people who use multiple Bluetooth earphones or multiple output devices like me as we'll be able to quickly change the audio device without having to open the settings. Personally, for me, this is a huge unexpected convenience as I frequently have to change the audio devices when I'm recording, taking online classes and just listening to songs. For people who use Ubuntu exclusively, 22.10 gives you the first experience of the next-gen GTK4 apps. Starting with Nautilus File Manager, this update brings up premium polish everywhere. The icons here are now nicely padded and you can see the selections light up beautifully. Even the list view looks delicately more elegant now. I really like the improvements done in list view. The new file manager also has an adaptive design which readjusts the whole layout to be mobile friendly. The sidebar hides and can be invoked if needed. This is in tune with the upcoming GNOME shell for mobile. We also get a new properties window. Items with custom properties get emblems to let the user subtly know about them. All in all, the new file manager is sleeker and looks more refined than ever before. Ubuntu 22.10 is codenamed Kinetic Kudu. Kudus are a species of, actually two species of antelopes native to Africa. They have these interesting stripe patterns on them which I found very interesting and their spiral horns just blended. The default wallpaper that we have here beautifully captures their beauty in this thread art style design. Yep, that's a single line. Ubuntu 22.10 also brings a new settings app, which is again powered by GTK4 and Libadweta. While at first look, it may look like nothing's changed. The settings app itself has been rewritten using GTK4. This brings out a polish to the settings. It looks better on the eye. It too is responsive to window resizes. The appearance tab gets updated and gives you richer controls here. We also get a new section here called Ubuntu Desktop. This nicely organizes the desktop settings that do not come under the appearance section. Ubuntu 22.10 brings in a nifty little improvement to the user experience. When multiple windows of the same app are open, for example when you open up multiple terminals or multiple browser windows, we can agree, we need to focus to switch to the correct window. Now when you click on an app icon which has multiple windows open, the first click will open the last used window and if you click again, we'll enter a window spread. Now here. The contents of all the windows are readable and it's much easier to pick the correct window. Definitely a nice improvement. I personally always open up multiple windows of the terminal as well as Audacity and fumble between them. So this is going to be useful for me. Another noteworthy update that we see in Ubuntu 22.10 is the switch to Pipewire audio server. Ubuntu is definitely late to the party since almost all the Linux distributions have already switched to Pipewire audio server. But since Pipewire is still relatively new, it makes sense that Ubuntu waited this long. I remember when Pipewire debuted on Fedora and it completely broke Audacity for me. But now Pipewire has matured and almost everything works. Pipewire greatly improves audio handling on Ubuntu. It delivers way better Bluetooth connectivity. If you have been having issues with Bluetooth headsets on Ubuntu, this should fix it. It also has much improved latency. With Linux gaming on the rise, Pipewire ups the game in the audio department. And for music professionals, this is a pleasant update. WebP, the dominant image format for web, now gets native support. These images offer great quality while also taking up very less storage. If you ever happen to right click on a web image and save it, chances are you might have failed to open them from your file manager. That issue is solved now. 
Ubuntu 22.10 also brings a completely new set of packages, bringing the latest versions of all the software with newer feature sets. We get LibreOffice 7.4 which boasts a number of improvements throughout. Gedit updates to a completely new version based on GTK4 and it's simply called Text Editor now. We get Thunderbird version 102 to handle mails here. We are seeing version upgrades for all the packages from Ubuntu 22.04 versions. Applications that are handled by Snap are all the newest irrespective of Ubuntu versions. For example, Firefox web browser is at version 105 on Ubuntu 22.10 as well as 22.04. This new version of Ubuntu will be supported for the next 9 months. It's an interim release which lets the Ubuntu developers try out new things while also giving us a reliable experience. Should you go ahead and upgrade to it? Well, as long as you don't have any critical needs, you can go ahead and give it a try. Ubuntu 22.10 will be a fresh experience for most of us. But if you have long-term computational needs, then I recommend you stick with Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. I'll be doing a detailed video comparing Ubuntu 22.10 with 22.04 LTS soon. So make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to catch that. I thank Pieter Warho and Michel Valentino for supporting my work on Patreon. If you're enjoying my work, do consider checking me out on Patreon. Next up, check out my video of 15 best Flatpak apps that will boost your Linux experience to a whole new level. This is the next text. See you in the next one.